Stevie, a 1 0 victory this afternoon against Greenock Morton. And then, did you feel we deserved the three points? Yeah, I thought it was a, a really professional performance. Um, we were probably a little bit critical in terms of not testing the Queen and South keeper um, in, in the last fixture that we had. But I thought we worked the Morton keeper, we could have scored more goals today. And I think, barring a few chances, um, you know, we restricted Morton to very few efforts at goal today. So good that we've come away with a clean sheet and I'm um, delighted that you know, Craig's got his goal after missing the penalty and you know, three points was important, it takes us into second place now. After the struggles that you've had over the, the last two weeks or so, you did speak pre-match about galvanising the whole club, the hunger, the desire that you wanted to see from the players and you certainly got that today, another performance and result that as you said, is, is very positive and it must give you great encouragement that after such a tough time, the players and everybody else has been able to, to kind of come together and, and, and get another three points on the board this afternoon. Yeah, it's been tough, Jordan. And when, I mean, when I'm saying tough, it's what everybody's facing at this moment in time. The COVID has made it testing for us over the last couple of weeks. I want to thank the players for their effort and their application, what they've done over the last couple of weeks. The coaching staff, they've been creative and working you know, with restrictions on us. Again, putting on sessions that have pushed boys in terms of their conditioning. I was worried going into the game today. I never let the players aware that I was worried, but you know, how long were some players going to be able to last? Was there going to be an effect on them? So again, it's things that maybe the supporters don't see, yet you're judged on your performance on the park and you know there may be some of the underlying things there. So in terms of effort, commitment from the players and the coaching staff over the last couple of weeks, it's, it's very pleasing that we get the three points today. We just spoke to Scott Banks there and he was involved heavily in the, the penalty incident that you spoke about. It was it was great interplay and, and a clear penalty and as you said, albeit, uh, albeit that Craig Quinton had the penalty saved, he never let that Effect. I mean, never dwelt on it, and he went on and got the winning goal, and then right on the stroke of half time. So that must please you as well that that he's picked himself up, dusted himself down, and, and got back on the score sheet at another opportunity. Yeah, to cover and Craig first. Firstly, was you know I think it's a sign of a good striker that when you went up and had the bottle to take the penalty and missed it that you know, you continue to get into goal scoring positions. It was a great move, you're right. Scott Banks steals it, he plays a, a waiting pass to Dom Thomas, it's a great delivery and it's a, a, a really good header in the sort of post area. Um, in regards to stuff that we'd worked on, you know, again, under limited time, um, we felt that against Queen of South when we played in front of them, albeit they played with a low block and we had to be a threat in behind more. And, you know, it was there for everybody to see Scott Banks instead of maybe coming off into a pocket, it was pleasing to see that he burst in behind, there's a through ball, he gets here just before the goalkeeper and you get a penalty from it, so there's things within the game you know, that we've been working on that you can see that the younger players are willing to take on board and um, as I say, on the flip side of that, defensively I thought we were very strong, solid and resolute in testing circumstances because you and Murray came back into the side today and Aaron Cumley from injury as well, you know, so um, very pleasing on that side. As you said, as the second half went on and Morton gambled, brought Gary Oliver on and, and pushed more bodies forward, we seemed to create more chances. And their goalkeeper made a few good saves to, to keep the scoreline at 1-0. Owain never had that much to do, but what he and the defence had to deal with, they, they, they dealt with it really strongly and really comfortably. And again, that must really please you that we've got another clean sheet under our belt. Yeah, clean sheet's massive. And I've said it, and there was pressure on us coming into today's game. And I know we've not got supporters, you know, at the games, but we, we've taken advantage of a situation. Um, the way the results have went over the weekend, we've come away with three points. But I, I thought we were um, dogged, we were resolute in our defending, but we still looked like we were going to score goals today. You know, and that that's something that will hold as well for the remainder of the season. Scott Banks was the man of the match, chosen by the match sponsors today on the Pars TV stream, but we felt that there could have been numerous candidates. I don't think you can pick out one player in terms of having a, a standout game. It was a great team performance, and that, that's what you were talking about during the week, that you're, you're wanting to see between now and the end of the season. So you've got that first uh, of the ten week victories that you're looking for. It's onwards and upwards to Inverness now. Yep, and you know the boys will go away and enjoy their weekend because it was a sore one after the Queen of the South game. We'll come in, refresh ourselves, recover on the Monday, and then, you know, 
do our usual, uh, prepare for the Inverness game um, come the weekend. Um, you know, and it's just something that the togetherness is massive for me as a manager. I, I, I can't stress it enough that it's something that I look in all the players are saying. You've got to show that you're a team player. And Scott Banks has come up for Crystal Palace, and rightly so, that he's caught the eye today because he mixed up his game. You know, he, he released the ball at the right times, not everything come off, but it was positive what he was trying to do. And as I say, his teammates were getting into positions for him to be positive. Um, so, a lot of good signs. Um, not getting carried away, the league's too tight. You know, you see that with where teams are in the league still. And we've just got to really focus on getting a positive end to the season now. Perfect. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Cheers, Jonathan. Thank you.